What's up guys, Luke Rearman here. I'm um, just giving you my weapon of choice today. Let's get it going. I've seen this all too many times, not to respect Luke Weirman. Weirman, he's not afraid to shoot, and he does in scores. Weirman wins the face off right down Charles Street. All right, so how did you start using this head? Uh, I started using this head um, about this May. I started using it a little bit before I graduated from the University of Maryland. I was playing around with it. Um, and then when I got into the PLL in June, I really started picking it up, using it a lot, and it became uh, the best fit for me. So the makeup of the stick is uh, Hero 4 mesh, um, you know, triangle top string, and then on a, on a focus shaft. What do you look for in your pocket? In my pocket, I like my pocket a little bit higher. Um, you know, I, I like the ball sitting, you know, midway up the pocket. Um, I just like a tight, tight uh, top string, you know, so that ball, I don't really like it clicking off the top too much. So just, you know, a tight channel and uh, having the ball sit up pretty high in my stick. When you're shooting it, how do you like the ball to come out? Are you wristing it? Are you going overhand? Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of all depends, you know, where I'm going with it and, you know, what the situation is. But I like to come out pretty much overhand, you know, over the top, high to low. Um, you know, had that ball come out, you know, in my follow throw. here working on face-offs by yourself, what's your normal routine? How do you get ready for a game day? What do you do at practice? Yeah, so my normal routine is pretty much just come out here, you know, get warmed up, get loose, and then pretty much just get my, my hands warmed up, you know, doing chops and ball hops and things of that, that nature. And then kind of just getting right into it, making sure my stance is good, you know, my feet are right. Um, and then kind of just getting in my first punch, first move. And then from there, just developing it into a full face-off with uh, all different types of exits and uh, you know how, how, to, how to put the ball certain places. Yeah, I'd say the most important thing is uh, just focusing on my consistency of what I'm doing. So if I'm trying to you know get the full ball and get my sidewall over, just making sure that that feels you know consistent every time. But also just making sure that when I'm exiting with the ball, that it's going to where I want to go. So you know I can put my team in the best spot to you know get the get the ball off the wings. How do you get your head broken in? So pretty much, uh, you know, I like to keep the head, um, you know, the shape it came in, which um, I feel like this does a great job at. But I do like to have some, uh, you know, pinpoints where I like the head to flex a little bit. So usually right in here, you know, if you're looking at the head on the left side wall, um, just a little point right, right in the middle of the head. I like to have bent in a little bit so it can slip under my opponent's uh, stick. And usually just to get that to happen, usually just keep the ball on the top left of my head press down and pull up and you'll see that sidewall pinch in a little bit there usually just sit on that take a break do it again and then once once I'm done with that I like to pull the head apart and it'll go back to its original shape but it will have a little bit of an indent right in that sidewall what do you think about going on the knee and going staying neutral in the PLL? Because you can go either. Yeah. Are you more comfortable SMG right now? Yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm more comfortable just because that's kind of, you know, what I did through through college and, you know, what I've been working at. I think there's benefits to both of them, but uh, I like to do it so I can just kind of be more, more of a player by being on my feet, being ready to counter, being, you know, quicker to exit and things like that. So that's why I've been sticking with it, but I think it's, you know, good to kind of try both things. When was the last time you went moto grip knee down? Last time I went moto grip knee down was freshman year of college. Didn't go so well for me being being a young guy there and, and things like that. But that, that was definitely the last time. I don't know if I've even tried it since. in a sense of, um, you know, you come, like you're a young guy, you know, as a sophomore, that, that, that was that year, my sophomore year. And I think just as a young guy, you're just making sure you don't mess up or anything like that. You kind of just are doing, um, just kind of going through the motions, but doing your best. And I think the mindset changed of, you know, going to that next season, just being, you know, an upperclassman, um, just taking that next step of maturity and everything and kind of, uh, you know, putting my best foot forward. I think that's where, my mindset kind of flipped, you know, after that 21 season the most. How relieving did it feel the next year going into the 
Yeah, it definitely felt, I mean, one of the best feelings ever that, that 22 season. Of the sacrifice of just, you know, early mornings and things like that uh, all year long with, you know, guys who've been doing it for, you know, five years. So it was very, you know, gratifying. There was a few things. I mean, just some cold mornings, jumping right into it, you know, coming off a bad practice or something. I, there's plenty of times we just, you know, started, we started practices hot for sure. You know, if we didn't, you know, do what we were supposed to be doing on or off the field, kind of like, there was a few mornings where we were up early and starting with speed work and jumping right into, you know, some of the hardest drills we have in the middle of January. So those are definitely the days I won't forget. You don't have to answer this if you don't want to. All right. But, uh, but what did you think about uh, being allowed to fight in the league a little bit? Um, some skirmishes. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was definitely interesting. I don't know how much we're allowed to fight, but um, you definitely can kind of stick up to your stick up for your teammates a little bit more than you can in college. So that's always a plus. Us grew up in oh North Carolina. Oh, well, we got go. something here. Here we go. Wow. Oh, helmets off. I like how the rookie Luke Weirman isn't backing down. Yeah, so when I'm going down for the face-off, um, first I like talk to my wings and everything, you know, just kind of get on the same page with them as much as possible. And then, you know, my goal is always to get more of the ball than, than my opponent, obviously, but that's not always the case. So then I think of who my opponent is and what my next step may be. If he's on a knee or, you know, he has preferences of where he'd like to exit. And then I can decide on what counter I'd, I'd like to go to if I, if I don't have that ball initially. But, you know, my goal is always to get the majority of that ball, um, get the, my top side wall over top of the ball. Um, so when I'm going down, I like to make sure I line up as close to the as close to the ball as the ref allows me to. And then my goal every time is to get this top side wall over top of the ball, so then I can control my exit. I think that's a really important thing is controlling the exits, um, and that's why we talked to our wings before because then we know where where it might be open and you know what their communication might be throughout the face-off. So my goal is always get this side ball over the ball so I can control my exit as much as possible. I'm Luke Weirman, this is the Weapon X2. Beautiful.